Hello everyone, welcome to Think Done Code. Today we will be solving the problem number of good paths. So let's understand the problem. There is a tree that is connected and directed graph with no cycles consisting of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1, exactly n minus 1 edges. You are given an index array values of length n where values i is the value and array edges where edges i is to ai comma bi which is an undirected edge connecting nodes ai and bi. A good path is a simple path that satisfies the following condition. The starting and ending node of the path have same value and all the nodes between that path that is from the starting and ending node have less than or equal to value to the starting and the ending node. So what is asked? Return the number of good paths, distinct good paths. Okay, let's understand the sample test cases. What is said? These are the values of the given nodes, and these are the edges. The edges are given in the form of indexes. Okay, so it says there are total five good paths con considering the single node. So they are also con considering the paths of single node. For example, zero to only zero, it is considered as one path. Only one considered as one path. So as as like that, it is five paths, and then there is one additional path 1024 1024 so it starts from 3 it ends at 3 and all the values between it are less than or equal to 3 okay so if we see such type of a tree and if we have to find a good path in it we can observe one thing that if we get a maximum value of this tree it is 8 right and if we consider all nodes which have this maximum value there are three nodes this first node, this second node, and this third node. so if we are having these three nodes and all these three nodes are maximum value in our tree then if we draw the path between any of the two maximum value nodes of the tree they all will be good path why because eight is the maximum value of the entire tree so if we consider this path from 8 to this 8 there will be no other node with value will be greater than it why because 8 is the maximum in that tree okay so through this we can have this three nodes and we will also have three paths through this but also we can have one more observation here if we consider this subtree of this tree then the maximum of this subtree is 5 and if 5 is the maximum of this subtree then we can also have this path as a good path right so what we are understood from this statement is we have to consider subtrees get their maximums and through their maximums we can all, we can find the number of good paths but how we would do it there are two ways to do it first way is we can either consider every max node of the current tree get the number of good paths for example these are the three nodes we would get a total of three good paths from it then we will eliminate all the edges which are from these maximum value nodes so these will be all these edges and if we eliminate all these edges we will be left with subtrees for example this will be one subtree and this will be another subtree and now we consider this subtree as our tree and find the maximum value and compute good paths of it but if we do this kind of approach it would take a, a lot of time because it's n square approach we have to get maximum from every tree then we have to eliminate edges then we have to again traverse to get maximum it's a lot of operations in it what instead we can do is we can sort the edges and we can make our tree in a manner that we first start from the smallest maximum of a subtree and then increment it further so what we would do is 
first we would like to add this edge but before adding this edge we would check these two connected components first is this single one connected component and second is this five connected component so what is the maximum of one comma five it is five so we will check in both of the connected component what is the frequency of this value so in these connected in this connected component there is only one phi and in this connected component there are zero phi so we don't update our answer we just add the edge so we have added the edge here now next we check for another edge since 1 comma 5 it's having max as 5 we can add this edge as next so before adding this edge we can we consider these connected component one of which is this and the second connected component is this so the max between 1 comma 5 is 5 and the frequency of 5 in this connected component is 1 and the frequency of phi in this connected component is also it. So what does this mean is we can have a good path from this phi to this phi. And that's when we update our answer. We add plus 1 into 1 to our answer. And we make the edge. Now the next edge we can add is 3 and 5 since 5 is the maximum here and this entire connected component has 2 count of 5 but this connected component only 3 doesn't have any 5 so we don't update our answer and only add the edge. Now the next edge we will add is of maximum 8. Because if we see this edge, the max is 8, this edge, the max is 8, again this edge, the max is also 8 and this is the max is 8. So let's add this edge. Before adding, we will check what is the maximum of 3 comma 8. The max of 3 comma 8 is 8 and this connected component has a frequency of 8 as 1 and this entire connected component And this entire connected component has no 8 so we don't update our answer and just add the edge now we will like to add this edge so if we see the maximum is this and in this connected component the count of 8 is 1 and in this connected component the count of 8 is also 1 So again we will add 1 into 1 to our answer. Because from this 8 to this 8 we can have a good path. Hence we added this edge and updated our answer. Now, now we will add this edge. This edge is a max of 8 and since this connected component does not have any 8 we don't update our answer and only add the edge. And finally we will add this edge. This edge is also having max of 8 and this connected component has a frequency of 8 as 1 and this entire connected component has frequency of 8 as 2. So we will update our answer as 1 into 2. And we will add this edge. Why we update our answer is 1 into 2? Because from this side 8 there can be good path like from here and there can also be another good path which flows from here to this head. So our final updated answer will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 4. So there are 4 good paths in it. So if I have to explain it, what we are doing is we are considering two subtrees, subtree 1 and subtree 2. We are considering an edge, we are getting maximum from that edge 
and then we are checking what is the frequency of this maximum value in these two subtree. For example, in this subtree, the max is 2, the value of 8 is, the frequency of 8 is 2, and in this subtree, the frequency of 8 is 1. So, from every 8 in this subtree to every 8 in this subtree, we can have a good path. That's the main approach behind. Okay, I hope you got this. Let's look at the code. So, for maintaining the subtrees, we have created a DSU data structure, union find data structure. This here we are initializing the parent, and this is the constructor of this data structure. First, we are initializing every node as its own parent because they are unconnected. This is the find function. And this is the union function of the DSU. And we are connecting X and Y by making the parent of X as the parent of Y. And this is the main code. It is divided into five steps. And if I have to show the five step, these are the five step. First, first we sort the edges based on max of values. Then we initialize a union find data structure for subtrees. Then we make the frequency counter, which we will see in the code. Then we keep adding the edges incrementally and update our answer. And finally, we return our answer. So let's first see the step one. Step one, we are sorting the edges based on maximum of values. So this edge is from This edge is from A0 to A1 and this edge is from B0 to B2. We get their values and we want the least maximum to be at first. That is we are sorting by ascending order. Then we are initializing a DSU union find data structure. This is the point where we are creating our frequency array. What is this frequency array? For every parent I we want to check what is the frequency of the current max element in it. And since at first every element is a single node, then the frequency will be 1 at first. But this we will update later because it will be required. Then we are creating some variables which we will use. This is the step 4 or this, the step 4 where we add the edges. So we see the, our current edge. We get u and v from the current edge. We get max of values of u, v. What is that? If this is the edge, we are getting the max. This is the max of the edge. Then we get the parent of them in our union find data structure. That is, what is the parent of u and what is the parent of v? We union them and then we update our answer. How we are updating our answer? We are checking in the parent of u, what is the count of this maxi value? Like for example, if we consider this subtree and if the parent of this subtree is 5 and if the parent of this subtree is, let's assume it is 8 right now. So we will check in this subtree, what is the count of 8? And this frequency table has stored it. It is 1. And in the same way, we are also checking in V parent what is the count of maximum. And once we have updated our answer, since now these two edges are joined, the U parent, that is the parent of U, also becomes the parent of V. So we also update our frequency. That is, frequency of U parent of maximum gets increased by frequency of V parent of maximum. And then since the V parent doesn't exist because we have merged them, we have union them, we finally erase it. And then we return the answer. Also, we are initializing our answer with n because in the answer we have to also consider single node values and this approach considers only node 
with uh, multi node values that is nodes with greater than one node in their path so for single node we are directly initializing our answer as a size of n i hope you got the approach if you did please like and subscribe hope to see you in the next video thank you